to welcome Zsa, Zsa Gibson, owner of Pharaoh's Rest Haven. Hi. Good morning. Good no, morning. The room just got brighter. <laughs> Thank you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Doing really well. So uh, we met probably a couple months ago. Yes. And you were telling me about your business and uh, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's Rest Haven. And uh, it's just amazing what you do. Talk a little bit about uh, what what is Pharaoh's Rest Haven and what is adult foster care. Okay, so Farrell's Rest Haven, we like to think of it as a home away from home. We try to um, make our residents feel the same comforts that they would at home. Oh, nice. By just the simple things, um, maybe taking them out grocery shopping, or I have a client, he wanted some headphones, I bought him some headphones, just whatever we can do to make him feel comfortable. Um, he wanted an Xbox, we went out and got him Aww. an Xbox. I mean, we wouldn't typically do that for everybody, yeah. Yeah. but he's an hour away from home, he's homesick, and it's like, what can we do to make you feel comfortable? Yeah. And adult foster care is, um, is a 24 hour supervised home for clients who might have developmentally disabled, um, mentally ill, or for the age population. Mm. Okay. So clients you might see that um, go to Lifeways or community sure. health organizations, things like that, that need help with medication administration, just you know your activities of daily living. My gosh, this is a big undertaking. Yeah, and it's a yes. beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful home. Uh, Thank you. I got to, uh, I got to be inside, um, and it was kind of a party when I was in there. I'll be <laughs> honest with you. There was some good daytime TV going, <laughs> and uh, but it's so nice and comfortable in Thank there. Thank you. And um, just from the little time I was there, your residents, I mean, they, it's home. Yes, yes. We try to make it as comfortable as possible. Um, we have a client there. She's a, um, an older woman, and it's her home. So Aww. that's what we're speaking yeah. of. She came in and introduced herself to Andy, let them Aww. get comfortable, and she just was all in, all in tune. We absolutely adore her. Um, that's how I want my clients to feel. I want them to answer the door, yep. you know, introduce themselves, come in, you know, welcome to our home. That's how I want them to feel, like it's their home. Nice. How many residents are there? Right now we have three. Three. So okay. we're going through like a transition. Um, some of them are going to skilled nursing. So that's okay. what we've been doing, trying to transition the age out and we're bringing more mentally ill in. Okay. So like the community health um, clients. So okay. that's what we're doing right now. I'm getting ready to open um, a senior assistant living home. Lovely. And so that's where I would like my age population yeah. to reside. Because two very different needs. Correct, you know, correct. So to, to, it's awesome that you'll be able to provide those specialty services. Yes. And you're yes. also a RN. So yes. that allows you um, to uh, handle handle medications, which I assume yes. that a lot of your uh, clients um, have a lot of uh, medication do. needs. They do. Um, we have clients take as many as 35, and we have some that take as many as one. Wow. Yeah, so we can take the high medical needs clients, the oxygen, the diabetics. Um, Wait a second, I'm a bath girl. <laughs> I just saw something. What was that? That uh, Whirlpool? Oh, yes, yes, that Whirlpool, yes. So it's a Bluetooth, <laughs> it's a Whirlpool tub, and like it has like seven different settings where you can change the lights. Oh, wow. Yep. There so, it is again. Oh, yeah. oh my god. There it is. <laughs> oh, I yep. bet they love that. Oh, they do. It's so good for their joints and just Oh, they do, yeah. They shut the door, we won't hear from them for an hour. Yeah. So <laughs> they enjoy it. And it's a walk-in um, shower. I used to work 16 hour shifts in the beginning, so I've had the opportunity of using it. It's yeah. amazing. Nice, <laughs> nice. Where is it located? It is located at 1040, 1044 South Martin Luther King okay. Junior Drive, formerly known as Francis Street. Yep. Yeah, so it's a sign out. You can't miss it. Nice. I get people, um, strangers, knocking at the door all the time, trying to figure out what we're doing, um, inquiring about their aunts, uncles, member in their church congregation. Nice. So we typically do have an open door policy. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. That's awesome. How does how would someone know if their loved one is a candidate for Pharaoh's Rest Haven? So um, you can go to pharaohsresthaven.com and do like an inquiry. I normally respond within 24 to 48 hours and we can just like chit chat. I can figure out what their needs are. I also have, um, I have a referral company, I believe it's caring.com and they do all the the, the criteria where they'll make sure that you're a good fit for the house okay. and you know make sure you can afford it financially, make sure you can use the steps. That's the issue with this the home that we have. It's not barrier free. Okay. So the new home is gonna be barrier free oh, for those nice. who can't use the steps or those who need the ramp, nice. things like that. And you, uh, it's not uncommon for you to uh, take some clients out to the out to the grocery store and then oh. make whatever they want. Oh, absolutely. We go yeah. to the grocery store twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they want something, I'm literally, my client called me this weekend. He wanted to go to the store. I'm like, I'll be there Monday. Um, yes, 
whatever they want. Um, it, we might serve tacos if they want tacos. We'll make hamburgers. Yeah. It's literally whatever they want. We make tuna fish sandwiches. They want ham sandwiches. We make sure that they have a plethora of what they need. We go and buy in bulk. They literally pick out what they want. Nice. What? That's wonderful. That, that that provides a little independence. Absolutely. Um, and I don't know what I want to say. Like keeps their pride intact and it gives them options them, yeah you know it's not okay well if we're serving chicken that's what you're gonna get right. no you can right. have whatever you want you can go in the kitchen make whatever you want you know I'm like a neat freak so all I ask is you just pick up behind yourself but whatever you know it, it's your home yeah I, I just I just work here nice. <laughs> Jaja, who is uh, Pharaoh the namesake to your business okay Pharaoh we named Pharaoh's Rest Haven after a near dear client of mine I used to be a home health nurse and my very first client, his name was Pharaoh. Aww. He was uh, the sweetest, oh my God, he was the sweetest little boy. I have a three-year-old now, and so I feel like God gave him to me in place of Pharaoh, because he passed a couple years ago, and it was really, really hard. It was really, really hard. Um, his mom would call me his second mother. And so not that Trent, which is my son, it, he helps to fill that void, because yeah. he was my buddy. We would hang out every weekend. Aww. I literally took care of him two or four times a week. He had such a meaning in my heart and my family. Everybody knew him. We love him. So I just wanted his legacy to live on. Aww. And so we named him after him, Farrell's Rest Haven. Beautiful way to honor him. Yes, think about him every day. Oh my goodness. So you have around the clock staff? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's probably a challenge these days. How did you get a good, you have a good solid staff. team? I, so it's family owned and family ran. Nice. So all my staff are my aunts. Oh, that's wonderful. So it wonderful. makes it nice. They're very um flexible like today my um my house manager's there she's my cousin nice. so I have to go to JTV okay how long do you need me to be there because I'm normally their first shift yep and so they're just very flexible whatever I need nice. they run they literally run to my back and call I'm so so grateful for them where do you get your uh, all your positive and great energy from I don't know um my family yeah my significant other my husband he's great um he's very very supportive so some days, you know, you do get stressed while we were just talking about business and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. It's so much because, yeah. you know, I'm admissions, I'm discharge coordinator, I'm HR, I'm billing, I'm human resource. And it gets very overwhelming. And so some days he'll just be like, Jaja, you got it. You got this. Yeah. How about after work we go have dinner? Oh, <laughs> so he nice. kind of spoils man. me. Yeah, he spoils <laughs> me. He knows how to make me feel good. He's amazing. Everybody take note of that. That's right. Okay. Yes, it's very important. Dinner. That's right. Dinner. No. <laughs> no, he just makes me feel really good. He just gives me really a lot of encouragement. Family gives me a lot of encouragement. And it's the positivity that they give. Like, I, I get so down because I get so overwhelmed. And yeah. you can do it. Or what can I do to come help you? Yeah, or nice. they're, just, they're just very, very, very helpful. Nice. Very helpful. Even like my best friends. Everybody's helpful. So your clients, I mean, it sounds like they're pretty capable yes. of doing a lot of things, yes. um, but maybe they need a little bit more care than what like a family member could provide or something. Yes. So like my, um, my female client, um, she has dementia. Okay. So um, she kind of wanders. Yep. So we have to have security measures that okay. you probably wouldn't have in your home. I don't mm -hmm. know if every door in your home alerts. Right. You know, um, so that's important. She just needs that 24 hour care because she's very forgetful. Yeah. Um, other clients like the community health um, clients that you that we have. Yeah. They might need help um, with their medications. Okay. You know, it's very important that they have, you know, medic they get their medications every day. Yes. Sometimes when they're living on their own, they get forgetful or they just don't want to. Yeah. You just need that extra support. And okay. that's what we provide, that extra support. Nice. Yes. Yeah. How could the community best support you and your efforts? Um, like this, JTV welcomed me on their platform so I can get my name out. That's the biggest thing, just kind of marketing. Um, because nobody knows who Farrell's Rest Haven is. So if you yeah. don't know us, how can you bring clients to us? Yeah. Right. So things like that, just getting my name out here. Um, I try when I go out and stuff, I try to like give our shirts away because this is marketing. Yeah, you don't so know cute. who this is. Yeah. So just like that, like if you see anything I share on social media, share it. Okay. Just, you know, anything to kind of help market and promote us. Wonderful. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you uh, so much for being here yes, today. Thank we you. appreciate it. Uh, tell everyone at Farrell's Rust Haven, we said hello. What's on tap for uh, food today? 
<laughs> what do you I'm making for sure. lunch? I didn't make the menu. <laughs> My house manager did, so I'm not sure. Probably, I don't know, maybe hamburgers and french fries. Ooh. I don't know. They had um, I think they had pork chop sandwiches over the weekend. Yeah. I'm not oh sure. Oh, my gosh. All I know yes. is you eat good over there, that's for sure. I just buy these jeans are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much and uh, continued success at Ferris Thank Rest you, Haven. Andy. You're amazing. We Thank you. It was Thank so you. nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Josh Gibson from Ferris Rest Haven. We'll be right back. We're going to wrap up 